Hi, do you like solving chess puzzles, but feel yourself wanting for more, for something more than just the simple tactics or the mate in two or mate in three puzzles you might be doing, or even more than those complex end game studies, something that expands beyond just the regular rules of chess? Well, I have something for you. So I'd like to uh, introduce you to this short video series I'm going to be putting up. Um, on this book that I've wrote, written, a puzzle book called Out of This World Chess Puzzles. And the first type of puzzle I'd like to share with you is something I like to call scrambled puzzles. I just ate some scrambled eggs, so why not show some scrambled puzzles, scrambled chess puzzles. Okay. The scrambled puzzles look a little bit like this. We have here a chess board, and inside each square are the coordinates of a different square. And we have a goal here. We have to move our knight from a8 down to square b2, right? which ironically enough, in a8, we have the coordinates b2, and in b2, we have the coordinates a8. The way that this puzzle works is that we have to make knight moves starting from a8. So we could either move to b4 or to, sorry, we could either move to b6 or to c7, right, c7. But the moves we make have to also be possible night moves using the coordinates inside each square. So you're playing on this board that's in front of you and a sort of virtual board. So you have to re recognize that this is a night move here. And at the same time, realize that you can go from B2 to C4. You could also go to B2 from B2 to D3. Now, let's take it a step further. Let's say we were trying to go b2, d3 here. Well, now some of these moves will be possible and some will not. So d3 to c3. Well, this move here, from this dark square to this light square, on this board, that's a legal knight move. But uh, with the virtual coordinates here, d3 to c3, that is not a legal knight move. So we would have to make a move which you can make with a knight, like d3 here to c5. So that's a legal knight move. And we have to try and do this to get all the way to this square. So I'll give everybody a moment to pause your video and try and work this out. It can be kind of tricky, but it's a really good way of visualizing uh, night moves and getting practice visualizing multiple night move jumps at the same time. This could also really be important if you're trying to calculate and you're calculating a sequence in a normal game where you have a dance between two knights. Let's say you're in a knight end game and you want to calculate, well, uh, my opponent is going to move, let's say, from c7 to a6, so I'll move from d3 to c5 to counter them. Right. Um, those would be the two moves we just had to make and calculate in a way simultaneously. So a way of kind of uh, calculating and visualizing moves that goes beyond what you normally do in a chess game. So hopefully you've taken a moment to pause your video. If uh, you haven't, I'm going to reveal the solution now. So we're going to go, again, starting in A8, we're going to go from A8 to C7 here, B2 to D3, it's a legal move. From here to a6, d3 to c5 here. We From c5, you can reach the d7 square. From uh, d7 here, you can go to f8. From f8 here, we can go to g6. And again, this is moving on the real board here from c6 to e5. g6 to f4 is a legal move. Uh, f4 to h3 is legal. Uh, again, legal on both boards here. So f4 to h3, or again, f7 to h6. h3 to g5. g5 to f3. And knight on f3 can go all the way back to e1. e1 then can go to c2. C2 to B4. This can be a nice motif in some Sicilian openings um, you might sometimes see. I think there's a 
some lines of this Fresnikov Sicilian where this is important. Okay, B4, we've gotten to C6 now. As you can see, we're getting closer in some ways to A8. Uh, C6 to E7, whoops, E7 here. E7, you can go all the way to G8. G8 to F6. F6 to E8. E8 to C7. And C7 to A8. So there's your whole solution. Kind of neat how you can see at the, actually the last few moves, we're going all the way from the G file. G to F to E to C to A. So G to A and only a few moves there. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. Um, there are plenty more in the book, some with rook moves, some with knight moves, some like this where your virtual move has to be possible as two knight moves. So, for example, a6 to e4 here is possible by moving a knight from a6 to c5 to e4. So again, even expanding upon that visualization and thinking about a sequence of night moves that make it possible to get to any one of these particular squares. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be posting some more of these types of puzzles in the future and some other different types of puzzles from this book. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and the book is uh, available on Amazon. So please check the show description if you're interested and you can order yourself a copy. And thanks in advance for that, and have a good day. Bye.